All right, I'm Dave Ratt, and today I'm going to talk about whether a main PA system and a monitor system should be in polarity or out of polarity with each other. The reason this question comes up is when you hit a kick drum, if all your system's wired in polarity, everything's wired correct, positive pressure wave on the microphone, diaphragm moves in, travels through all the electronics, shows up at the amp, red terminal creates a positive pressure wave, hooks up to the speaker, positive pressure wave, speaker moves outward out of the box. Well, you got your main PA, you hit the kick drum, boom, 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 all the speakers are moving out towards the audience. Then you've got your monitor system, you run the kick drum into the monitor wedge, boom, 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 it's moving towards the band. The thing is, monitor wedges are pointed the opposite direction than the main PA. So if the main PA speakers are moving out, the monitor speakers are moving out the opposite direction, that would appear to be logically an out of polarity scenario. They are moving in opposite direction in relation to each other. And if we used open back speaker cabinets for the main PA and or the monitor system, then you could take two speakers, wire them in polarity, and they would both move out together. Or you could turn one around backwards. And if they're both in polarity, wired in polarity, they would do this. So you'd wire one out of polarity and you could have one in reverse. But we're not using figure eight for the most part. Some flat panel systems do have a figure eight polar pattern. For the most part, we're using sealed and or ported enclosures, typically ported enclosures. And a sealed enclosure basically captures the sound coming from the back of the speaker and keeps it inside the enclosure, doesn't let it out. So the only thing that escapes the speaker is the sound from the front. Sound from the front, when the speaker moves out with that pulse, it creates a positive pressure wave. In the very low frequencies, that positive pressure wave travels in all directions, 360, like a spherical thing. It was floating in space. There'd be a sphere, a positive pressure wave sphere that would radiate from that. A ported enclosure is basically a sealed enclosure with a little hole in it or a big hole in it. And the way those pr a properly designed ported enclosure works is takes the internal volume or whatever size it is, speaker cabinet, speaker combination, and it starts to roll off at a certain low frequency. And then you put a hole in it with a duct on it, and that's a tuned resonator called a Hemholtz resonator, such that it has output, takes that rear, that out of polarity rear of the speaker, and time delays it and resonates about 180 degrees out of polarity with the already out of polarity. So now it's 360 degrees out of polarity or out uh, phase shifted, which back into polarity. And it puts it out over a narrow band such that the output of the speaker might look like this. The output of the port might look like this. And the output of the speaker and port combination may look something like that, giving you an extra low end boost. But for all practical purposes, it's an in-polarity scenario. The entire box works together to output uh, in-polarity spherical. Directional at the higher frequencies, obviously. Let's go ahead and test that. So here we've got a tiny little wedge. This is a sealed enclosure. And we've got our main PA, which is a ported enclosure. It's ported in the rear there. And I've got a switcher here. This sound tools mic switcher has on the A input, it's got the pink noise in polarity, and on the B input, it's out of polarity, and that's driving the wedge here. So I have the ability to switch the polarity on the wedge. Let's go ahead and turn up. This is the main PA. The wedge, together. Out of polarity, in polarity, and now what we're going to do is flip the wedge the other way. In polarity, out of polarity. Out of polarity. So as you can see, hopefully here, that doesn't matter which way this wedge is pointing, 
we're getting low frequency summation and when it's out of polarity we're getting cancellation regardless of the direction it's pointed i've done shows where we've put the monitor system out of polarity intentionally with the main pa in order to help cancel out some of the low end by putting extra low end wedges and things not moving around too much you can cancel some of the low end on stage by reversing polarity of the monitor rig i don't recommend it in many situations it's quite unwieldy because as you bring various low frequency things up or down, or if the front of house engineer starts to turn the bass or kick up and down, that cancellation null changes. So they might turn the kick down in the main PA and you get more low end on stage because you have boosted on the stage to cancel it out. But it's something you can try if worse comes to worse. All right, all in all, main PA, monitor system, in polarity is the way to go, and I hope that's informative and helpful.